Hey guys, welcome to Ann Clay, The Primitive Home. I'm Ann, and today we're gonna talk about how to distress your walls with coffee, of all things. So I'm here in my tavern. You can kind of look around and see that I have this wonderful bar behind me. My house was built in 1780, and this part of the house was built during that time. And my tavern is this wonderful old room that's just, it's really kind of like a hallway with the bar in the back, but it's, it's, it needed something a little bit more. I used to have the tavern done with the wood ceilings and the wood floors, but pretty soon I was looking at those white walls and I thought, hmm, I wanted to have that smoky primitive look. What are you barking at? She always has to be in the middle of everything. So I did it with nothing but my Dollar Tree coffee. You can see that I used about half of it in this, in this container. So it cost me 50 cents and I got cheesecloth at my local grocery store. <clears throat> and for the final piece of resistance, I used a little teeny bit of my antiquing. Now this is the antiquing glaze that I use on my portraits. So my portraits such as George and Martha, for instance, which you can get by clicking that bar underneath on my um, underneath my video. It'll take you right to a place where you can buy these. This is a 16 by 20. This is the uh, size on my site or an eight by 10, really pretty cheap. And you can follow my instructions and make them antique. See how cool antiquing that is? It's got some glaze on it and it's got antiquing and it just looks like an old painting. It's so much fun. Anyway, I used the same antiquing that I use on this on my wall. Now, I didn't want to use much and here's the reason. You could take something like this and put it on your wall but I didn't want to use that much because it's, um, it's technically wax. And I'm always thinking of what if I come in and I want a wallpaper or I want to paint another color and there's this wax on my wall. So honestly, I did nothing but use a little teeny bit of that on here and then I mostly did it with coffee. So let's see my results and then I'll show you how to do it. All right, see this? This is so cool. I have this wonderful wood on my ceiling and it looks really old, but it's really only um, aged about six years. It was uh, mill cut and so it's very rugged and rough and it aged outside under a tent for six years and I bought it super cheap quite a few years ago. And then here are my walls. That's my, my tavern right there, my bar area. And if you look closely in the back there, it looks very antiqued. It's actually wallpaper that was put up about a hundred years ago. And so it's aged naturally. But when I put that together with my white walls, it was just too much. I wanted this room to look really smoky. But you can see over here that I did antique the walls and they could even be darker. But what it did by antiquing these walls was it just made it more of a primitive looking space. Here I've got my sign that I made last year. And that was just out of wood that actually was used in a closet in the house. And I took it apart and distressed and made a sign. And then I've got, of course, my gorgeous Angel House furniture. And this stuff I picked up on um, Facebook Marketplace. And then over here, I've got the spool top tables. And I bought those spool tops at the same place I bought the ceiling wood on. And then Tom made the bases for the tables. So technically, authentically, they didn't really have high tables, I don't believe, in the primitive days. But they are that dark, rugged, rustic look. And so I thought it would work. And then on the walls, I've got just some things that remind you that it's a tavern in case you haven't figured it out already. And, um, but I like, oh, I'm sorry. I like it better with the wall being antiqued. You can see here, I also antiqued my ship painting. That's on my site. And I like that look. 
right? It just really looks good. For the window treatment, I have these swags that I had up. And then I went ahead and put a very long tear on there just to darken this room because I wanted it to feel like a true authentic tavern. And an authentic tavern, of course, would have smoky walls and things would be dark. You know, I have the authentic floor and the tables that you would sit on and put your grub on. So what I wanted really was that authentic look. These are cage light, lights from Lowe's. And, oh man guys, this is just my favorite room in the house. But today I wanna to show you how I did the walls and brought it to this antiquing look. I'm gonna give you a really close up right now. You can see here, this is my experiment wall. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is have a wall where you experiment and really decide how dark you want it to be. This wall is darker than the rest of the walls, partly because I thought it would be great to be darker, but then I lost steam as it was going on, and so it ended up a little bit lighter. But I'm gonna show you just how I did that. Okay, but first, I have to introduce you to the newest member of our family. And I can't do it here because the oldest member of our family is still adjusting to the newest member of our family. She's um, very noisy and barky, our old member. And we're keeping our new member apart from the old member for quite a few hours a day so that the old one can just rest and the new one doesn't have to worry about anything and get all tense and stressed. So let's go see him. Oh my, so shirtless Tom. Oh, I wouldn't sleep on that, honey. Shirtless Tom is sleeping. Well guys, this is the only room in the house with air conditioning. It's 90 and very humid today. And Tom was gracious enough to put it in here and sit here all day with him. You guys. This is Dewey. He's such a love. He's 15 weeks old. So he's really um, been pretty easy to housebreak. He's been really good. He's been sleeping and he's like, what are you doing to me, Grandma? Okay, honey. He's my daughter's pup. And he's a Shih Tzu. And we got him because our other two are getting kind of old. And we love you. We love you. I know. I'm sorry I woke you up. I'm sorry I woke you up. He loves to cuddle and be loved. Oh, I just love this dog. Look at that face. Oh, you are so cute. So he's going to be starring in some movies from now on. Yeah. I adore him. Actually, guys, I came in here to show him to you now. Now I don't want to put him down. Okay, but I promised you I'd show you how to do the walls. And so that's what I will do. So here's a look at the antique walls. You can see that this wallpaper has been stained and aged over time and nothing is even it's not an even look you can see here it's darker what you want to do is emulate or imitate some of that just copy that and to get that real good antique look now this wallpaper is kind of fun right i mean this is this is kind of americana wallpaper that they put in when this was a bar. And I'm really happy that none of the former owners ever tore that out. Cause you know, you could look at it and say, ugh, that's dirty. And I know that the former owners did tear the same wallpaper out that was all through the tavern. So that would have been a really cool look. But this is the original sign that was in here. 
and I don't often show the back of my bar here, but it's kind of a storage facility, you know, for all my entertaining. My friend Lori gave me a $2 bill for good luck a couple years ago. Of course, that was before, you know, what happened and everything shut down. But this is the gate that I can put down sometimes, but I did put those cups on there because I like how that looks. Then over here again is that wood. Now, my feeling about this wood panel is that it kind of looks like 1970s, honestly. It's probably not. It's probably in there for 100 years. And um, I just leave it because who wants to mess with it? Obviously, if I painted that, then this wallpaper would look wrong. And I never want to get rid of that wallpaper. It's just too perfect. So some things you just have to leave the same. These are kind of cool. These are sconces that were actually put in for electric lights. And my electric lights... Uh, don't work there anymore. They took that apart. And so I just put candles in there, just a little bit of wax paper, and it makes the same kind of feeling. It's a perfect candle sconce. Okay, so the way you're gonna make this is the way you make coffee. You're gonna take your coffee grounds, you're gonna take your boiling hot water, and you're just gonna mix it up to the consistency that you want it to be. So, and the amount that you're gonna need. now. I'm going to tell you right now, you don't need a whole lot. Do you see how I just poured a little bit of coffee in there? This goes a long way. So this would be maybe a half a cup of water in there. I've just poured two cups of coffee in there. And you want to just see how dark it is. Of course, the more coffee you put in there, the darker your mix is going to be. The trick is that you're just really gonna have to experiment. There's no real way to get this to your liking except by adding layers and experimenting with your coffee. Now, of course, you're gonna have to let this cool a minute because if you just dip your cloth into this right now, you are gonna burn your hand. So we're gonna let that cool. And what I did was after I get this wet, I went ahead and put a little bit of this antiquing on it. Such a teeny little bit that it's not gonna mess with me being able to do anything on the walls after this, but it gave it just enough depth. You're gonna see soon that this is a little light without that antique mix, but if that's the look you want, then go for it. It's still pretty hot. I really don't wanna dip my hands into that hot coffee. It's a hot day, so it's going to take a little longer to cool. Let's go look in the other room and see what's going on. So this is the front room. And you can see I did quite the decluttering in this room. Oh my goodness. It's pretty amazing. And I love it. The question is, do I want to keep it white or do I want to give it that antique look. Now I'm going to tell you right now, either way it's going to look good. Uh, I kind of like it white because it feels very versatile. I'm not sure I want it to feel as primitive as colonial, but at the same time it's coming right off the tavern and I kind of consider this another tavern room, so it would be pretty cool to have it look like the tavern. The only problem is that I don't have that same ceiling on here. So if I go ahead and do the walls with that coverage, it's gonna make the ceiling look funny. Plus, when I get to the corners right there, there's a good chance I can mess that up and smear a little on the ceiling, which means I'm gonna have to go find some white paint and fix the ceiling. And that's just not something I'm feeling like doing right now, you know? Now the ceiling in here is starting to show signs of age, although this has been one of the better preserved ones. I kind of think that the ceiling was redone since the house was built, because it would look a whole lot worse if it wasn't. And I would love to put some wood in here and do the same thing, but in order to do that, we'd have to tear out all of the horsehair plaster, 
Ugh, just the thought of it is just really too much for me. So I think I'm going to leave this white for now. I actually think that a wallpaper would look really beautiful in here, but I'd have to find just the right colonial looking wallpaper that I'm not going to get sick of. And I'm not sure what that is yet. I don't know if you guys have seen the Adams family yet, but aren't they cute? They are decorating this beautiful sitting room and it's, it's actually my favorite place to sit. Now in the winter, it can get cold in here unless we have the fire going. In the summer, it can get hot in here, <laughs> which it is right now. So I'm gonna leave this alone but I'm going to do a little patch for you and show you exactly how this works. Okay, I'm gonna do this on this wall right here. I've got a light set up so you can see it. And you can see this wall used to have a mirror on it. I've got Chantilly Lace white as the background, that white background, and then the middle is more of a gold color. So I can show you how this is going to look on both kinds of walls. Obviously, the darker color you have, the uh, deeper it's gonna look on the walls. I did it in the tavern on the Chantilly Lace White. This is actually a doorway, and I want Tom to open it up, and that's why we have this whole, <laughs> this uh, faux pas in this bedroom, which is why you never see this side of the bedroom, because our house isn't perfect either. So here we go. So this would be a little easier to show you if I wasn't so cornered in here. You got a picture of this, I'm just like completely cornered in. But here's the gauze. This already was used, so it kind of has some darkness on it. I've got about three cups of coffee, three teaspoons of coffee compared to about maybe a quarter cup of water. And let's see how it looks. And what I do is I'll either use a circular motion or I'll go up and down. Now, because this is very stiff, that's giving me a look I don't want. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the soft side. Um, this paint, and this is a really good thing to show you. This paint that is on here looks to be kind of almost a semi-gloss or at least an eggshell. And if you use it with an eggshell, it's not gonna adhere very well. See that? This is a flat paint and it's gonna adhere better. So, let's see. You can see there's a difference, but it's not a big, huge difference. But it is enough to give you that stained look because this is coat number one. You know, you can smear it around and then you can go back and make it, make the grains follow the way you want it to. You can also do this to furniture. But that already is giving me an antique look. What we're gonna do is let this dry a minute and we're gonna go over with a second coat. And I'm gonna give you a better look at it. Okay, except for the sheen. Look over here. This is what you don't want is to make sure that you haven't done it on something that's high gloss because what's going to happen is it's going to bead it's going to be kind of gross you can do it but you're going to have to take more to kind of straighten it out when it starts to dry you're going to want to go in there and give it some rubbing maybe even with your hands this side is looking a lot darker than it did, but again, we're gonna have to give it a second coat. This has to dry before I can show you more. I'm gonna go through it with one more of just the coffee, and then I'm gonna put a little bit of the wax on and show you how that changes the whole feeling of the wall. All right, we're back at it again. Things are dry. I don't know if you can see. Right there, you can see the difference between the one coat and the no coats. And you can see the aging on the white versus the non-white. So let's go ahead and give it another coat. Yeah, 
Now if your paint hasn't dried or your coffee stain hasn't dried, you're not gonna notice any difference between the two coats. But if it has dried, you're gonna see here and here, I know there's a glare, I'm sorry about that, here that this is a lot lighter than this side. So we're gonna do this again on the white. And again, see how it's running and smearing? That's because it's more of a semi-gloss on this side. And so that's gonna need some extra work if you don't want that runny look. But look at how much darker it is. So you can just darken that paint just with this coffee for literally what did this cost me 20 cents I could do the whole room with this now I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of glaze on this and show you the difference that'll make I apologize for being so close to the camera but I want you to see the walls so here's my glaze it's antiquing glaze you can buy some of this in my Amazon account or I picked this up actually at Walmart. So there's a little bit on the lid. I might just use that. Now look, I've only put this much in there. See that? There's not a lot of glaze on here. And I'm gonna rub this on the wall and show you the difference. See how much darker that's gonna make it? So much darker. But the thing about this is that I don't have to reapply the glaze usually for a half a wall because it's going to make everything just a little darker. Now there's not a lot of glaze. See how that came off on this? But again, it's still going to make a difference here. See that difference? And again, you're going to want to experiment with the way you want it to run. I wouldn't just go, eh, because that's gonna show up on your wall and it's gonna look terrible. So you wanna make it look like it aged. And when we looked at that wallpaper, it kind of aged running down. So you're gonna wanna stick with some kind of look. Now, you can see the difference between this and this. It's a lot darker and this is darker. And again, you can go over this very lightly, take as much off as you want, Put as much on as you want it doesn't matter if you want more of this on here go ahead and do it but i wanted to minimize the amount of glaze i used because i didn't want too much wax on my wall and besides coffee is so much cheaper So there you go. It looks old. It looks aged. I'm going to give you guys a closer look at it. Um, looks like I got my hair in it. So that's authentic looking. And again, you can see the difference between this side and that side. This is, this is coffee and the wax. Coffee and the wax. This is just coffee. This is coffee twice. And let's take a closer look. All right, do you see that? This is coffee, one, one coat. And this is two coats of coffee with the glaze. Look at the difference, the wax. And this is two coats of the coffee with the wax over the shinier white. So you've got quite a different look there. On the left, is what we started with in the white compared to what's on the right. So you can see with each, each layer that you put on it, you're of course going to darken it. So go for what you like. If you want it lighter, start with the coffee. And if you still want it darker, start with another coffee. And if you want it darker than that, put a teeny bit of the wax on your cheesecloth and play with it. Just experiment. Okay, that's it guys for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you try it. It really does prim your house. It really does antique it. It's actually a lot of fun. It's not that much work. Just do it in the air conditioning this summer. Whew. Until then, I'm gonna go play with the puppy.